Hi folks, as promised, I'm going to show you how to find the Corona Borealis in the night sky. So at the moment, I'm looking for the night sky in July, uh, but the position that I'm going to show you won't change much over the course of the next few months. It will just drift towards the west as it gets later into the year. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find where north is. And to do that, all you got to do is find the Big Dipper. So a lot of you can probably see it already over here and you're very familiar with the shape. To make it a little bit easier, I'll highlight it with an asterism line. So there you can see that kind of panhandle or question mark shape. It's part of the larger constellation of Ursa Major, which is supposed to be this large bear. But for our purposes, all you need is that little question marks shaped section. So what you wanna do is come in here and trace out that shape of the saucepan, but start at the tip of the saucepan over here. So once you've done that, you wanna work from that tip towards the left and out towards the handle. And once you've found the handle, these final two stars in here are gonna draw a direct line to the constellation Bodies over here for you. Now once you got the Bodies, it's this kind of diamond shaped um, constellation here with a really bright star at the bottom of it called Arcturus. Uh, all you want to do at that point is come up to this left shoulder of the diamond and right next to it you'll see this horseshoe shaped constellation and that is the Corona Borealis or the Northern Crown. So you can see the artwork right there. So that Nova explosion when the star reveals itself is going to be visible somewhere within this constellation here. So all you got to do to figure out where you can see this Nova is just that little bit of star hopping. So start with the plow, work your way over to Bodies, who by the way is the plowman that's supposed to be pushing the plow over here. And just off of his shoulder is the Northern Crown. Now, as I said, the position of the constellation, so keep an eye on that horseshoe shape there, is going to change ever so slightly as I move through the month. So let's see what it looks like next month. You can see it's drifting towards the west and then into September, even further towards the west, and then into October, it's only barely visible above the horizon at 11 o'clock. But don't worry, that doesn't mean that you're gonna lose it. It just means that you'll be able to see it that little bit earlier in the day. So from eight o'clock in October, even earlier, if you're very lucky, you'll still be able to see it. So uh, all you've gotta do, as I said, is keep the Big Dipper and Bodies in mind, and then you'll be able to find the Corona Borealis. So best of luck and happy star hunting.